Hi guys, welcome to Self Care Sunday. Today we're talking about loving your flaws. Yes, so we all have flaws. We all know we have flaws. But how often are we loving them? How often are we embracing those flaws? Right? So that's what we're going to talk about today. I have five steps to help you love your flaws just a little bit more. Okay? In the comments, I want you to make sure you write down your favorite step. And what are some ways that you love your flaws? Like, how do you go about the work of embracing and loving your flaws? Right? So let's get started. Also, make sure you subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. So that you're the first to know when we have any videos coming up. Okay? Cool. Step number one. Get to know yourself, flaws and all. I know that sounds simple, but it really is the first step. You have to make sure that you truly know your flaws. And I I believe that knowing your flaws helps you plan for them better. If you know some of your weaknesses, you can put plans in place that allow you to overcome those weaknesses. And if you know your strengths, you can highlight those. Get to know yourself, including those flaws, and that's where we start, right? So step number two, determine when flaws can be fixed and when flaws can be improved. It's important to know the difference between certain flaws and understanding that there are some flaws you can't do anything about. There are some flaws that can be fixed. If one of your flaws is time management, that can be fixed. If one of your flaws is like a physical feature, can it be fixed or improved? Like that's just it. Understand what you do have the ability to control and understand what what's within your reach to control, what at some point you can control, but maybe not right now. And until then, do what you can, right? So once you know what flaws are fixable or improvable, step number three, is learn to accept and embrace the flaws that cannot be changed. Learn to accept and embrace the flaws that you cannot change. There are going to be certain things, like for example, my height. I'm short. God bless America. I don't know what you want me to do except embrace the fact that I'm short. I'm light-skinned. That is something that I once looked at as a flaw until I realized There's nothing I can do about it. I can't go back and ask for a darker toned skin. I'm sorry. I can't do anything about that. I'm a black female. I can't change any of those without going through major, you know, surgical changes. Like, this is who I am. And whether that's a flaw or not is my choice to accept. And when it's something that I can't change or I don't have control over... What's the point of viewing it as a flaw? It is what it is. This is who I am. There's not but so much that I can do to change certain flaws that I have. Now, when it comes to personality traits, although there are some flaws that I have with my personality traits, um, those are all things that can be fixed. That's just it. But there are also some physical traits that I can actively work towards fixing. If I want to be in a better shape, guess what? I have to do what's necessary to get in a better shape. That includes working out consistently. That may include eating less calories. That may include eating healthier options, eating more vegetables, etc. But I have to understand, determine what I can fix and work towards that. And also learn to accept what I can't fix. It is what it is. Step number four, be you. Because everyone else is taken right? There's no sense in trying to be someone that you're not. You can't change it. You can't control it. Why not be yourself? Why not be exactly who you were created to be? Don't you think you deserve the chance to be you? I mean, you're you. Who else can you actually be? Like you can be a copy of someone, but until you embrace exactly who you are, 
you're just one step behind that person. If you're trying to be like someone else, you're trying to be like a competitor or competition or anything like that, you're always going to be a step behind because you have to wait for them to do something in order to do the next step. Be yourself. Be exactly who you are. Be the best version of yourself. But be exactly who you are. Step number five, live your best life, honey. I love this phrase and I don't I don't know who coined it but like I love this phrase live your best life whatever that looks like for you now I do have a special little note for that yes you want to live your best life yes you want to do what makes you happy whatever is good for your soul do that I love that phrase as well but you want to make sure that you're keeping in mind your long-term best life as well so even though you want to go out to eat every night is going out to eat every night going to help you live your best life long term? Is that going to help you with your financial goals? Is that going to help you with your physical health goals? No? So really just evaluate. Like when you're doing things that make you happy or you're doing things that you want to do just because you want to do them, be mindful that you are still responsible for your actions and you do have to be held accountable whether you want to be or not. Cool. So I'm going to recap these for you really quick. So step number one, get to know yourself, flaws and all. Step number two, determine what flaws can be fixed or improved. Step number three, learn to accept and embrace the flaws you cannot change. Step number four, be you. Everyone else is taken. And step number five, my personal favorite, Live your best life. So again, put in the comments, which one was your favorite step? Um, and I definitely want to hear from you guys. But most importantly, make sure you subscribe so that you are the first to find out when we have a new self-care vi Sunday video coming out. If there is a certain topic that you would like to learn more about or that you just want to discuss, put it in the comments. And who knows, if you want to be a part of Self-Care Sunday, I'll have you on. I love having guests on Nicole's Network's YouTube channel. Definitely shoot me an email. It's admin at Nicole'sNetwork.net, N-I-C-O-L-E-S, network.net. Shoot me an email. Just say, hey, I want to be a part of Self-Care Sunday. Or maybe you want to be a part of Motivational Monday or Thoughtful Thursday. Let's have you on. Why not? Awesome. All right, guys, I will see you next week. I hope you're enjoying your self-care Sunday. Toodles.